Eddie, would you like to tell us how you first got involved in, in the volunteer programme with Chief of Staff? Um, <clears throat> well, we, myself and my wife originally got involved years ago with the, with the breakaway, yeah. and um, we did that for about um, 10, 12 years. And then uh, a few years ago I retired, and mm -hmm. I was at a loose end, you can only play so much golf, yeah. and you can only do so much walking, and um, so I, uh, I saw an advertisement um, looking for volunteers, and it was something I always wanted to get back to. And, that's how I. That's Tell us a how bit I, about about the person that you're linked to and, and, and what you would do on a weekly basis. Yes, um, my good friend um, Noel. Um, uh, was, I was introduced to him, and uh, in the beginning it was a bit of a strain because it took us, you know, a few weeks to uh, sort of get to know each other. I found him very quiet, um, and I would take him to the pub. Um, he likes to point, and he loves music, so I'd always go to a, a music, a musical pub. And uh, then, after a few weeks, we really started a bond, and um, now we go out every weekend. And I look forward to it more than Noel does. And uh, so, what we usually do is go to mass first. He, he gives out to me if he misses mass. Mm -hmm. He's brought me back to the short end, to be honest with you, because I used to go to mass myself. And um, so he brings me to mass, or I bring him to mass, and then we go to the pub afterwards. And he has his couple of pints, and he listens to the music. And uh, as I say, it's a, it's a, it's a real, true friendship now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I get so much um, out of you know my friendship with Noel. It's uh, it's 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 incredible, and there's there's, there's enough lot to be said for it. In fact, I'd say I get more from Noel than, than I can ever give to Noel. That's, that's the way I look at it. Hi, Neve. Could, could you tell us a bit about how you first got involved in the volunteer programme with Njeeva's Town? Sure. I'm at home full time, so my main object of every day is not to be in the house in the mornings. So I have one free morning and I wanted to really go somewhere locally. Uh, so Cheeverstown, I was aware of it, even though I had had no experience. But I came and I met you and um, you introduced me to Mary about two years ago. And ever since, Mary and I meet every Thursday morning. We spend a couple of hours together. Uh, Mary is a lovely, really friendly lady who is living independently with a lot of help from Cheeverstown and we do very simple things together but they're very important to Mary. We could meet for a walk and go and have a cup of coffee. Every Thursday some coffee is included somewhere along the line. We, I introduced Mary to the library in Terranure village which has been a great success. She joined a book club a year ago, once a month, she goes to the book club and it has given her huge encouragement that she can now go to a book club and discuss a book which she would have found incredibly intimidating because she's a very good reader and some of the books she hates and some of the books she likes but it's a lovely topic to be able to discuss with her and we could go clothes shopping in Dundrum, go for a walk, you know, just simple things. We could cook together as well as Mary lives by herself and we might cook and put a few bits in the freezer and just simple things. I suppose the challenges you'd find is like with any friendship are you going to get on with the person because you're meeting someone that you know nothing about and also someone that you know is vulnerable um, and whether you'll be able to cope with their vulnerabilities properly. And in my case Mary and I have become friends which is very nice um, but I suppose you can't you're going to meet people that you don't genuinely link with but I think if you go with an open mind um, and also you're there to you know one of the reasons you're there is to give another person huge encouragement they don't get a lot of encouragement from others because they're very isolated so I always like to say to Mary I always find something to tell her how great she is and how brilliantly she's doing because it's, it's lonely when you're isolated. Mm. So it's nice to try and encourage. Maybe it's the mummy coming out of me. <laughs> mm. 
And, and, and have you felt enough support from, from Chibi's time in, in the beginning? Has the support been helpful? Well, as I say, I meet Mary every Thursday morning, so we generally just get on with it and do our own thing. But if I was concerned about something, I would be very happy to ring Jerry and he would put me in contact. But it hasn't really. Mm -hmm. Well, I did a week or two ago ring you over something and you sorted that out, so I'd be very happy to, to ring if there was a problem. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much. Oh, I get by with a little help from my 